to subscribe! Now it's time for everyone to go to bed. Carefully, put the baby on the bed. The baby must have fallen asleep. Now turn off the light. Oh no! The baby seems to hate the dark. I have to turn on the lights again. There's a problem. The baby isn't falling asleep. Let's prepare items that make the baby sleep well. Give the baby a teddy bear. Show the baby the mobile. Cover the baby with a blanket. Now the baby is ready to sleep. I'll read a storybook. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, the three little pigs, who were close together, decided to build their own house. The first pig built his house out of straw. The second pig built his house out of woods. The third pig built his house out of bricks. But suddenly, the big bad wolf came along. Arg, I will eat all the pigs. The big bad wolf went to the first pig's house. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Woo! The big bad wolf blew the house of straw in. The big bad wolf came by the second pig's house. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Woo! The big bad wolf blew the house of wood in too. Finally, the big bad wolf came by the third pig's house. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow. Oh, the third pig has fallen asleep. The baby has finally fallen asleep. All of a sudden, Bororo and Krong fell asleep with the baby. Good night, friends. Once there were three little pigs living in a peaceful forest. Oink, oink. I'm full. Oink, oink. I'm so happy I was born a pig. But the three brothers had a problem. There was a wolf named Bororo who wanted to eat the brothers. <laughs> they look delicious! Hey, brothers! Let's build a house! We will be safe inside a strong house. The other pigs agreed with the youngest brother. Good idea! Let's start building! Harry, the oldest, built a house out of hay. Excited, he shouted, La 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 la! I love my house! It's as light as a butterfly! Petty, the second brother, built a house out of wood and drew pictures to decorate his home. Yay! I love it when things look beautiful!
Betty, the youngest, built a house out of bricks. It took a long time to stack up all the bricks one by one. One, two, one, two. I'll build it safe and strong. The next day, the pigs got together after their homes were built. Just then, the wolf came by. <laughs> I'll eat you all up! The oldest brother, Harry, ran away to the house made of hay. Yeah, I'm safe. <laughs> you think you can stop me with a house built from hay? Puff! Puff! As the wolf blew onto the house, the hay flew away. The second brother, Petty, ran away to his wooden house. Oh, no. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tear this away. Puff! Puff! As the wolf blew hard, the wooden house flew away. <laughs> The youngest brother, Eddie, ran away to his brick house. Try to catch me if you can. <laughs> you are all in one house. But no matter how hard the wolf blew, the brick house didn't budge. <sighs> how can this be? This house is too strong. Just then, the wolf saw a chimney and thought of a good idea. <laughs> you pigs are locked inside! The wolf climbed down the chimney. Oh, it's hot! Oh dear, the wolf's bottom caught on fire. I knew you would do that, so I built a big fire. <laughs> After that, the three little pigs lived on happily without worrying about the wolf. A long time ago, a poor boy named Jack Bororo and his mother lived together. <sighs> Mom, I'm hungry. Oh dear, we are all out of food. After some thought, his mother decided to sell the cow for her hungry son. Let's sell the cow and buy something delicious to eat with it. Yay! I'm so excited! Later on, Bororo was on his way to sell the cow when a stranger approached him. Hello, I'm Tong Tong. Will you trade your cow for my beans? These beans are special. They are magic beans that will grow tall into the sky. And up there, there are great treasures. Treasures? Whoa! Then I'll be able to eat lots of delicious food! After listening to Tong Tong, Bororo traded his cow for the beans. But Bororo's mother could not believe her son. What? You exchanged the cow for some beans? She was so angry that she threw the beans out the window. Oh, <laughs> oh,
But the next day, a tall beanstalk reaching the sky had grown next to Pororo's house. Wow! They really were magic beans! Pororo climbed the giant beanstalk as he climbed up to the clouds. The castle Tong Tong told him about was there. <laughs> Where could that treasure be? Pororo went into the castle. Inside, he saw huge walls and giant furniture. Amazing! It's huge! I wonder who lives here? After a while, Pororo found a room full of treasures. He saw sparkling gold, a goose that laid golden eggs, and a magic harp. Now I'll be rich! <laughs> Excited, Pororo carried the treasure out to the hallway. But then he heard a thumping noise, and the castle started to shake. Oh no! A scary giant was chasing after Pororo. Stop there! Give me my treasure back! Pororo climbed down the beanstalk to run away, but the giant chased after him. Pororo desperately called out to his mother. Mom! Hurry and bring me the axe! As soon as Pororo came down, he got the axe and started to cut down the beanstalk. As the beanstalk fell, the giant fell down along with it. <laughs> Pororo defeated the giant, and the treasure helped him become rich. <laughs> I feel fantastic! I'm so proud of you, my son! <laughs> A long time ago, Geppetto Poby, the lonely carpenter, lived all by himself. So Poby carved a doll out of wood that looked like a real child. I have finished. Your name will be Pinocchio Pororo. <sighs> if only you were real. That moment, a fairy appeared with a flash of light. Yikes! Hello, I'm Loopy the Fairy. I have come to make your wish come true. Abracadabra! As Loopy's wand started to light up, Bororo came to life. Father! I don't believe this! Thank you so much! Now you are my son. Poby was so happy that he had a son now. Bororo, if you prove to be good, someday you will become a real boy. But be careful, because if you lie, your nose will grow long. Yes, ma'am. Then with a spark of light, Loopy vanished. It didn't take long for Poby and Pororo to get along as father and son. Dad, you're my favorite! I love you too, my son. One day, the two went out to the sea. Pororo was excited because it was his first time seeing the ocean. Wow! The ocean is endless! <laughs> Do you like it that much? 
Suddenly, a giant whale emerged from the water and swallowed them up. <coughs> Poby couldn't find a way out of the whale's dark stomach. He felt helpless. <laughs> Are we going to die like this? Dad, let me handle this. I hate playing! I hate candies! Wow! Every time Fototo lied, his nose grew longer. With his long nose, Bororo tickled the whale's blowhole. The whale's body rocked as it laughed. <laughs> it tickles! Soon after, the whale spouted water out of the blowhole, and Poby and Bororo flew out. The two flew into the air and landed back on the land. Whoa! We made it! Just then, Loopy the fairy appeared in front of the happy father and son. Bororo, I was moved by your kind love towards your father. I shall turn you into a real boy. Abracadabra! As Loopy swirled her wand, Bororo turned into a real person. Oh, Bororo, my son. From that moment, Poby and Bororo lived together happily. Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Poby, there was a beautiful princess named Snow White Petty. Father! Oh, my daughter, the most beautiful girl in the world. But there was an evil queen in the kingdom. She was Princess Petty's stepmother. Hmm. I am more beautiful than Petty. The jealous queen asked her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? It is, of course, Princess Petty. Loopy was filled with anger, so she called a huntsman and told him to get rid of Petty. The huntsman followed the queen's orders and kidnapped Petty while she was in the garden. Eek! Help me! Then the huntsman pushed Petty down the hill. I'm sorry, Krong. I'm scared of the Queen, Krong. When <coughs> Petty woke up from the fall, she saw seven dwarfs surrounding her. Who... who are you? <coughs> Don't be afraid, Princess. We are the Rainbow Dwarves! What? Rainbow? <laughs> you guys are so cute! From then on, Petty lived together with the dwarves in their home. But one day, the dwarves were away, and a strange old woman came to the house. Beautiful girl, will you please buy an apple? An apple? Just try one first. Thank you. Oh no! As Petty ate the apple, she fainted and fell down. <laughs> Did 
you like my poisonous apple? Now, I am the fairest of them all. <laughs> Satisfied, Loopy returned to the castle. The dwarves took good care of the princess, but she didn't wake up. <laughs> I wish someone would come and help wake our princess up. <laughs> Just then, a prince on a horse was passing by. I am Prince Budenol from the neighboring kingdom. I shall gift a kiss to the sleeping princess. As soon as Budenol kissed Petty, she opened her eyes. Are you okay, princess? Oh, prince! Soon, the king found out about everything and became furious. What? Lock away the evil witch at once! Oh, oh, I'm sorry! Loopy was punished by the king, and Prince Bororo and Princess Petty had got married happily. <laughs> I love you, Prince Bororo! Oh no! The warehouse is way too dirty! Help find stuff for friends! Help find the stuff friends want! Calendar Cell phone. Banana. Candle. Basketball. Doll Bag Cap Basket Book. Wow! Friends found all the stuff. All the friends want to say thanks to you. Help find the stuff friends want. <laughs> Doll. Hair dryer. Basket. Basketball. Cap. Cup Cell 
cell phone. Book. Bag. Wow! Friends found all the stuff. All the friends want to say thanks to you. Smarty Dr. Eddie made a fruit machine. Pick a fruit you can eat. Press all the fruits. Stop. Pear. Grape. Cherry. Tomato. Apple. Watermelon. Peach. Orange. Mango. Pineapple. Bororo and his friends ate fruit all together. Press all the fruits. Strawberry. Melon. Lemon. Orange. Pear. Watermelon. Apple. Banana. Pineapple. Bororo and his friends ate fruit all together.